And now, your live Doppler 18 forecast with meteorologist Cameron Hoffman. Weather from where you live. Well, we've already seen our fair share of thunderstorms this morning, and more are on their way for today. We could get a break in the action during the early mor or late morning, early afternoon hours, but we could be seeing more thunderstorms later on in the afternoon. Some of those could be possibly severe in nature. Now, more storms are in the forecast as well, so we're looking at a stormy forecast altogether. 70 degrees out there right now. Winds are out of the north around 4 miles per hour, gusting up to near 24. Now, we saw that gust when that first initial gust run came on through. That's relatively weak to other areas that saw anywhere from 45 to 50 mile per hour gusts out there. Humidity 94 percent right now. Now, we are actually seeing clear conditions over the last 12 hours until this initial system did come on through. Now, we're just dealing with mainly just scattered thunderstorms in the northern portion of the viewing area. Those will continue to scoot further off to the east. And then we're just looking at our next round line of rain. It's beginning to pop up over in Iowa and Illinois right now. And as that continues to push further to the east, that's the system that's going to make its way to the area later on in the day today that could produce some severe weather later on. Now, once again, we're looking at a little bit of a break in the action before later on in the afternoon when we could see more of the showers and thunderstorms push into the area. Now, once again, these could be severe in nature, bringing strong winds and large hail along with them. So keep your eyes out for any watches or warnings issued by the National Weather Service later on in the day. Then we do get a little bit of a break tonight. We still see a chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. But by tomorrow, we're looking at much of the same story. Beginning of your day, mostly cloudy, but by the afternoon hours, we see more chances for showers and thunderstorms pushing into the area. And once again, some of these could be severe in nature. Large hail, strong winds, much of the same story there. But then Saturday rolls around. Okay, so Saturday, we could be seeing partly cloudy skies during the morning hours. And right now, we're looking at a slight chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, but we're not actually expecting anything severe out of that system on Saturday. Today, though, 91 for your high temperature. Break in the storms during the early afternoon, but by the later afternoon, early evening, we do see those thunderstorms return to the area, and some of them, once again, could be severe in nature. Overnight tonight, 63. Chance showers and thunderstorms, and then that sets you up for tomorrow. Beginning your day, mostly cloudy, scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon. Another chance for severe weather tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for any watches or warnings really over the next 48 hours or so. So temperatures are going to be staying in the 90s for the next two days. Today 91, tomorrow 90. Chance for severe weather both Thursday and Friday. Looking towards Saturday, partly cloudy. We do see a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms that day. High temperature though down to the 80s. 83 on Saturday, 82 on Sunday, mostly sunny skies. That'll be the day to get enjoy uh, this weekend. Really the best day of the entire forecast. Mostly sunny that day. Then we do see the rain return Monday through Wednesday now. The problem with that is that we're also going to see the warm temperatures return 90 on Monday, 91 Tuesday, and as high as 95 on Wednesday. So things are going to be dipping down for the weekend and then really warming up for midweek next week. And